Have you ever wondered if your intercooler is sufficient enough for your car? When I'm talking about sufficiency, I'm referring to your intercooler being able to cool down the air and keeping it flat as long as possible. So if you're here just for the tutorial, you want to get it over and done with, I'll drop a time frame for you on the screen. You can just jump over there. We will catch up to you. Otherwise, if you want to find out more about your intercooler, just stick with me for a few seconds. So what is an intercooler? In the simplest terms ever, intercooler, its main purpose is to cool down the air that is coming from your turbocharger or your supercharger right before it goes into the engine. As we all know, when the air entering your engine is colder, all the molecules and stuff is closer to each other, meaning that you get a little bit more performance. That is why in winter or sometimes at night, it feels like your car pulls much stronger than it does in a hot summer day. Let's move on and talk a little bit about the sensor that we are going to be using for this test. We're only going to be using one sensor, it's known as the air intake temp sensor. Temp standing for temperature sensor. So in this entire test, there's going to be one of three outcomes, right? Okay, so the first outcome will be where your air temperature is actually remaining the same. And as you accelerate and as the turbo is working harder, your temperature will actually increase. Your second outcome is where it will just stay flat, which is what you want. Or when it's going downwards, meaning the air is getting colder, which is what you really, really want. Alright, so let's quickly get into technical terms on how it can get hotter or colder or whatsoever. So, as whenever you put your foot down and your turbo is trying to, or your supercharger is trying to boost up, it's trying to build up that pressure, obviously there's more friction involved. Because your turbocharger is working harder, it will generate more heat. It's a normal thing, that's why you'll see a lot of down pipes always glowing red because of the heat. So, whatever happens is that your air that's going to the engine is getting hotter as you accelerate because the turbo is working harder. Stay with me now. So, with your intercooler, it's actually situated in the front of the engine and it's got a million vents in front of it. So, as you accelerate, your speed increases, which means the flow of air actually going through your intercooler increases, which means that the, your intercooler is cooling down the air inside the intercooler more, which is going toward your engine. Sorry, I don't hope that confused anyone. Your turbo is increasing the air, in, uh, the air temperature is going to your intercooler. The ventilation from outside going through the intercooler is cooling the air down before it goes into the engine. All right, so whenever the heat from the turbo is overpowering the heat, well, the cool down of the intercooler, you'll initially see an increase on your temperature sensor, which means that your intercooler cannot cool down the air from the turbo or supercharger enough. So that's why you're seeing that increase because you're accelerating, but it's not staying flat or going down. It's actually increasing. So in that case, you will want to actually upgrade your intercooler. So let's talk about when the graph stays flat. That's initially what you can expect to see. You want to see that as your turbo is working harder, you want to see that your intercooler can just keep the temperatures going flat all the way through. Whenever you can get the chance or have, if you have upgraded your intercooler and you can see that even though your turbocharger is working harder to like put more boost and stuff but your intercooler can cool it down, you'll see that initial drop in temperature and that is excellent. You want to see, well the goal of the intercooler is to get the air as cold as possible. So that is why you'll see the drop which means it's doing an excellent job. Alright, so let's, now that we've got that underneath the belt, we're going to go over to our VCDS. I'm going to show you guys quickly how to set it up, what we got to set up and stuff. And then we're going to go out for our run. So at this point, I've got my ignition turned on. We're going to go quickly here to select control module. And then we're going to connect to the engine, which is this one right over here, zero one. So while it's connecting now quickly, what we're going to do is we're going to go to this bottom block here, advanced measurement values. So what we're going to do is that I always do is I always select the engine speed to be involved. This is just a nice indicator to see where at which RPM what changes. So after that, I'm just going to go here and type in air. So we have got our intake air temperature and this is exactly what we want. Right, obviously it's a little bit high now because the car is at temperature. If I have to show you guys over here, well, it's probably a little bit cooler now. 
there we go we are at 65 degrees celsius on our engine i just did a previous video of the fuel system so i just jumped over to making another video quick sometimes it can be so difficult to make videos especially get to get a good day and it's weekdays and all of the weekends and stuff so we're going to quickly go back to air intake so what i want to do is i just want to put in the ambient air temperature as well as you can see oh oh gosh sorry wait hold up um that is the pressure there we go the outside air temperature so as you can see outside it is technically 26 degrees celsius pretty hot day which i don't think this is actually a hundred percent correct but anyway uh it's probably because we're standing still so the heat is just going up and maybe influencing the sensor so then sorry another thing i just want to do because i see that i accidentally switched off the engine speed so there we go so we have got our engine speed, which the car is obviously off now. We've got our intake air temperature and our outside air temperature. So as we accelerate, we can see if the outside air temperature is changing towards uh, our intake air temperature. So we can do just some little mathematics to see if it's actually the intercooler that's cooling it down or did the air, the air temperature actually fluctuate. So these are the two main things that we are going to check out. So obviously we've got a, like a bunch of other stuff we can see. I also saw this is very interesting is uh, leakage air 3.6 kilograms an hour. I, I, I don't really know how that works. But anyway, so we're just going to stick with these two for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the road and do a third gear pull. I know it's recommended for us to do a fourth gear pull, but because I'm going to do it on a safe road, uh, fourth gear is just going to be a crazy amount of speed. I would really suggest you guys to do a fourth gear pull on a dyno, but yeah, on, on third gear pull, I get about 120, which is our highway speed, which is good. And then otherwise, we are just going to take the car into third gear, keep the RPMs low. We're going to put a laptop on our side and we are just going to click start, put our foot flat to the floor, Take it all the way until the car shifts or initially if you're manual, you're just going to take it all the way till the red line. You're going to let go of your throttle. You're going to slow down until it's safe to do. So you're just going to turn, press stop, drive back home. And that's exactly what you're going to do. So we have got our three temperatures of a year. We're just going to say log, browse. Uh, we're just going to say desktop. And we're going to rename this as intercooler. Save. And there you go. As you guys can see, there is start. So literally, we're just going to place it next to us. We're going to go to the road, third gear, click start, pull all the way until the car shifts. Once it shifts, we're going to let go of the fuel, slow down, and just press stop and head back home. Okay, so currently, first gear, second gear, third gear, reach over, we're going to press start, foot to the floor. There she kicks in, all the way through, till she shifts, perfecto, okay I'm slowing down, reach over, press stop, good stuff, let's go home. We are currently back home now, we're going to quickly go and close VCDS, we're going to connect to datazap.me on the internet, and this is where we're going to upload our file, our data log that we just did now. All it's going to do is just transverse it into a graph. So if you don't have an account yet, you can quickly make one. After that, you're going to go to upload log. We're going to choose the English one. And right over here, we're just going to click on browse. You can actually just drag it in there if you want to. But you guys will see, I actually have got two. Intercooler and an inter uh, CSV. So CSV is just a file. Actually, I had a small problem. My car, when the EPC light came on, I had an overboost, um, what do you call it, alarm. So my car actually cut off the turbo boost. I was also going to look into that. I saw that with my, what do you call it, with my data logging of my boost leaks. Can you guys believe it? You data log for boost leaks, then you see your car is actually overboosting. I'm not complaining. So anyway, right over here, enter. And then we're just going to scroll down. As you guys can see, it's already uploaded. We're just going to quickly type in your intercooler. I'll still come back later and just see everything. So moment of truth. Let's see what our air intake temperature sensor do along the entire way. So here is our engine RPMs. We floored it down till it shifted at 6.1, which is about 100 RPMs later than the previous time. It just fluctuates. It does what it wants. We go a little bit further down right here at the bottom. We can see intake air temperature and outside air temperature. So this is our outside air temperature. It stayed 
21 the entire way. Wow. All right. And then our air intake temperature. Oh, crap. Damn it. This is not what you want to see. All right. <laughs> As I mentioned to you, it can creep up, go flat or go down. And my luck, it creeps up. All right. So we started off at 30 degrees Celsius. 31, 32, 33. Oh, my word. Up until 38 degrees Celsius. So this can be because I am over boosting, right? So the turbo is working a little bit more than it should. Also, I already got uh, stage one software on this car. So that could also be that my turbo is working a bit harder now. But straight looking at here, it tells me so much because at the same time, my spark plug tips is white, which means it's running too lean or running too hot. In this case, it shows me that my air temperatures are actually increasing, so it, it might play a little bit of a role. Also, previously, I did a uh, engine retardation, a data logging test. I'll drop the card for you guys here at the top corner, or is it this side, I'm not sure. So, where you guys can actually see that as my car is accelerating, it starts losing timing. So, the timing is being pulled from the car, and it could also be because the temperature is hotter. Who knows? So, this is kind of a bummer, so now I know that if I want to personally upgrade something on my car, it should be an intercooler next because this is not good. We don't want to see it go up. We want to see it go straight or downwards. So this was a nice experiment. And that's what I love about data logging. You can see all of this kind of stuff to know where you're losing power, what you should upgrade next and etc. That's one of the reasons why I'm making these videos. But anyway, guys, there we go. Hopefully a new intercooler coming the uh, coming this way one of these days. So if you guys did enjoy this video, find it entertaining, informative, helpful, or educational, whatsoever, please guys do drop me a big like. If you'd love to support the channel, especially if you're new, hit the logo right over here. If you want to see any similar videos or whatsoever, hit any icon on the screen. And I'll see all of you legends in my next video. But for now, stay safe, stay healthy, and peace out.